Okay, I went to Branson's in Yeovil bike shop. They were at least honest about saying they don't want to sell my bike because she's not cosmetically pretty. Mechanically, she's fucking perfect, but she's not pretty. So they wouldn't prior X her. Which is fair enough. At least they were straightforward and honest with me from the beginning. I mean, for fuck's sake, don't worry about the, the tires being flaking paint. Paint the fuckers. I'm not. I'm trying to drive my gloves out. Anyhow, I did spend half a grand in the shop. Oh, um, yeah. Last word on the fucking anal shop, whole shop. Their shit is so fucking overpriced, you would not believe. I mean, you're talking minimum price for a helmet, half a grand. And yeah, way fucking overpriced. And you're actually paying them to advertise their products. Anyhow, new crash on it. 89 quid. It's a Novik. Issues with this, so far, it's okay so far. It's got this little flap here, which is quite handy. As well, helmets, noisy bastard. It does have the, if I can get the fucking work, sun visor. Issue with this, though, is, well, first of all, you can tell it's a bit fucking suspect when they actually supply you with anti-fogging sheets, which makes it a bit fucking suspect. It's the most horrendous weather for riding, because it's been pissing down, I mean, thunder and lightning. But, you know, it's all fucking fun. Anyhow, issue with this is that this tab, even up and down, is further back than it is on normal visor. Normal visor, it's here. That way you can use it with both left and right hands. Or it's here. For left and right hands. Because it's here, you can only use it with your left hand. Because it's too far to reach around to do it with your right. Which is really fucking dodgy if you're on a junction. And it fogs up and you need to open it. Plus, the clicks for having it open are too big. First mark is here, which is no fucking good because I can blast of wind right into your eyeballs. What you want it is about halfway here, which is on the edge, so it just flips closed. So not a good fucking design. But then it's a 90 quid helmet. I fancy the fucking bit of a splurge. So got the helmet, 90 quid. RST bike leathers were 200 RST jacket 230 I think it's 230 now I paid in total for the 200 430 510 520 that would have been 520 quid for the three items I paid 467 I think I've got the receipt somewhere now it is a guaranteed doesn't matter if you're going to a car boot or a shop boot or anal boot set or a fucking main shop on the high street it doesn't matter if it's cheap brand no brand or fucking main brand you will always get a minimum of 10 percent off whatever you buy all you got to do is say is that your best price i know car drivers find it embarrassing but if you do it you'll save yourself a minimum 10 percent if they instantly say yes, then you say, go on. And they'll knock off another 5%. They always put stuff up 20% over the manufacturer's recommended read price. So anything less than 20% discount, they're still making over the odds profit. So I saved 60, 70 quid. Yeah, about 60 quid I saved, just with a little haggle. And yeah, I think these foggy things hook on here. I've no idea what they do. I don't trust that sort of shit. I like to be in control of what I'm doing. So far, the helmet seems all right. It's, it's a cheap fucking helmet, you know? Now my issue is going to be going on and putting back all the bits I took off, like my USB stick. Okay, if you've got a hole in your bike where you put stuff on and you take it out, rather than just having a big fucking gaping nasty hole, that is a piece of plastic junk mail that came through the letterbox. Sprayed it black, glued it on. Yep. So, my USB charger I've got to put back on. Fucking helicopters! USB charger got to go back on. Barra and Mira's got to go back on. My Danelli sound bomb horn's got to go back on. I've got to rehide the spare key. I'm not going to bother putting on a smart charger cables because very simply it's a Japanese bike 
I don't need them. It's that simple. Other bikes, non-Jap, you need a spark charger. Or if you're, you know, if you're driving instead of riding. I don't need them, so they can stay off. And of course, now I'm back home, it's fucking sunny.